What's up everyone? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I'm here at the hotel in El Paso and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make um, jalapeno poppers or Texas Twinkies. So this is going to be quick and easy and it's really hard, really hard, really easy to put together. All right guys, check it out. Okay, so these are your basic ingredients. I mean, it's just literally jalapenos, cream cheese, and bacon. But um, to make this a little bit healthier, I substituted um, like regular bacon with turkey bacon and regular cream cheese with fat free cream cheese. Let's see, because this is 30 calories per uh, every two tablespoons. And one slice of bacon, I think it's like 40 calories, 45 calories. Yeah, like 45 calories. And one jalapeno is about like less than 10 calories. So this is really easy. You literally just, um, you know, scoop out the jalapeno from the inside, take out all the seeds, put cream cheese in it, and wrap it in bacon. And that's pretty much it. All right, let's get down to it. Okay, so this will be pretty simple. I'm going to cut the top and, you know, cut it across, clean out the seeds, and then put cream cheese in the middle, then wrap with the bacon. Pretty simple, guys. All right? Okay, guys. So everything is hollowed out, all seeded out. So what I did, I cut I cut the top the tops off, and I kind of cut them in half or slid in half, and I took out all the seeds. Let me turn on this fan. There we go. Now you guys can see better. And after I took out all the seeds, I ran it under um, cold water. <coughs> also, um, use caution, guys, because these are jalapeno, any kind of pepper. You know, like when you're cooking or even cutting raw peppers, I mean, the, it's, the spiciness, you know, tends to get to your, to your eyes or whatever. You, you just got to be careful. Um, preferably use gloves, I, which I don't have, but I think I'm going to invest in a box of cooking gloves, latex gloves, you know, for cases like this. So the next step, guys, is you put some cream cheese in the middle and then just wrap it with bacon. And then you put it in the grill for like 5 to 10 minutes. And that's it, guys. This is going to be a very simple dish. Okay, guys, so these are all ready for the grill. So you can see uh, you have your cream cheese and your turkey bacon wrapped. Now, um, the only thing I would recommend, which I should have thought of this, um, get toothpicks because since this is turkey bacon and it hardly has any fat on it, it doesn't stick as well to the jalapenos as you can see. Um, nor with normal with normal bacon, because of the fat in it, it usually sticks onto the onto the jalapeno pretty well. So, um, when you're wrapping it, <clears throat> I recommend that you um, start on one end putting it inside like the slit, kind of like this, just like this. And then like wrapping it around, but this is where I would need a toothpick. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the front desk, front lobby and see if they have any toothpicks, alright? Next up, the grill. Okay guys, so... I didn't find toothpicks, but I found some of these coffee stirs that I broke and kind of stabbed through. So I have the grill going. So now the next thing is just to place on the grill. Okay, now it's on the grill. Now we need to close this up and it'll go for maybe five minutes or so. And I'll check it like every other minute. So I flipped it over and it's coming and it's looking like it's coming up pretty good. Since I'm cooking this in the evening or you know at night <laughs> after the uh, 90 day fiance until long, the vegan release of the flames looks really nice. It looks it's gonna come out good guys. Okay guys when the cheese is when the cream cheese is oozing out like that, then that means they are ready. 
So we can go ahead and turn this off. Well, you know, turn it off and let me look, let me take one. Yeah, you see how see how the pepper looks all burnt, like not burnt, but it cooks like that, and the cream cheese is kind of coming out. It's ready. Ooh, you can especially tell on this one. Yeah, it's definitely ready. It's time to pull these guys out, and they're ready to go. Okay, guys. So I took the jalapeno poppers out of the out of the grill, and I put them. Like I uh, meal prepped them, so I put added them to my meals, and um, yeah, this is what it turned out. <laughs> okay, this is the only one that came out really burnt. Okay, oh, the only one, but the rest came out perfect like this. Okay, and um, when I have also what I have here on the side, let me see if I can fix this a little bit. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> so this is actually my beautiful wife's recipe. This is simply just literally frozen blueberries and add a little bit of frozen strawberries, water, and a little bit of raw sugar. Very delicious, very nutritious. <sighs> Tulsi used to make this for me when we were living in Detroit last year. Not, well we, we didn't live in Detroit. We, well I guess, yeah, because we were there for like six to eight months. And this is one of the drinks that she would make, and it was very good. <clears throat> so, going back to the jalapeno poppers, one thing that you definitely need to do, not forget, you cannot forget to take out the, the toothpick. Just like that, take it out just like that, and, and toss it to the side. This one has two toothpicks, because it was a little bit big, see? Boom. <clears throat> Bam, okay. Now for the for the for the test. I'm gonna try the burnt one first. Okay? Then I'll try this one. Mmm. Good and burnt. <laughs> Whatever hater. It's pretty good. Now I'm gonna try this one. Oh, by the way, all, all of this guys. Um extremely low in calories is because I place it with turkey bacon and low fat fat free cream cheese so the turkey bacon is 45 calories the cream cheese 30 calories that's five six seven seventy five calories and the jalapeno itself is like five to ten calories depending on the size so per so overall about 80 calories per per um, jalapeno popper compared to real bacon and like you know not fat free cream cheese it could have been a lot more but yeah about 80 calories per per uh per jalapeno popper this is great for like a appetizer if you're like you know hosting like an event or like a barbecue or whatever this is great or if you want to add to your meal prep like i did but let's let's give this guy a taste guys okay Cream cheese fell out. Boy, do I make a do I make a mean jalapeno popper? And you know, there's some um, different varieties, varieties, different ways to cook your um, jalapeno poppers. Like some people. They like deep fry it, you know? There's other people who like stuff it not just with cream cheese, but like brisket or burger or salad. But this is like your basic um, Texas style jalapeno, South Texas style jalapeno popper. Mm, pretty good. You can definitely um, not tell that it's turkey bacon. It still tastes like bacon. Healthier. This is a great alternate if you're like on a diet or you want to get your jalapeno fix. This is, and also the jalapeno pepper itself is pretty healthy. Mm -mm.
Cheers. Mm. These jalapeno poppers remind me of the valley. Or really South Texas because that's what they cook down there. In college because we used to barbecue a lot when I was in college. But overall, pretty good. I mean, call me bias if you want. I don't care. I'm always going to give my my food 10 out of 10s. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it. Until next time, peace out, Cub Scouts. No! There we go.